Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Mel Martin. Hi, how are you? I am great. We are at his museum because Mel has many cars, but today we're going to show you one of the cars from the museum. My suggestion to you is come on down. Mel, where are we at? We're at uh, in Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, we're on North uh, I-17, the big, one of the major freeways in Phoenix, and we're just north of Bell Road. And, and what's the website so people can come? Uh, Martin's uh, Auto Museum. Martin's Auto Museum. Come on down. Not only is it Phoenix, one of the most livable cities in the world, but we're going to show you a great car. What car are we showing them today? Yeah, this is the Cobra, a real one. Not, <laughs> not a wannabe. This is, this is the real deal. I'm going to grab my camera. Okay. Mel, a couple of questions for you while you're right there. Okay. How did you get to the point where you said, you know what, I think I need Carol Shelby's real car? <laughs> Well, I seen it at an auction, and uh, I uh, looked at it, and seen it was a real one, and um, sometimes here it is. You, sometimes you just gotta say yes. <laughs> Let's just show this over here. Come on with me. There's uh, there's you with Carol. Yeah, we had dinner and lunch together. And I guess when you buy I, one of his cars like this, he he, he takes a little time with you. Uh, I, I knew him before, but uh, I got a chance to uh, so I, uh, socialize with him a while, and uh, that was very nice. Well, I'm, I'm curious. Was he uh, was he uh, uh, telling you beforehand if you knew him? He says, "Hey, if you got this museum, you got to come and get one of my cars." Was he doing uh, that? Too? You know, he didn't say that. <laughs> uh, he, he was sort of an outspoken guy, and yeah. uh, he just. Yeah, I, I don't think he cared who had them. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Let's go right to the main attraction. Okay. Well, I'm glad you have one. That is really, really cool. This is not the imitation. This is the real deal. Yeah, there's also, uh, uh, this is the model that they would race. That's why they got the wire on the... Uh, on the wheel nuts that keep them coming off. So when you, and we're gonna, we're gonna be able to potentially spin this one. So this was, uh, this car was raced? Yeah. Okay. And this is the 427. There's, they've got the 289s. Yeah. And this is the, the bad, this, this is the baddest of the bad. This yeah. is, this is as good as it gets. Yeah. Now have you driven this? Yes. All right, I gotta look at your face. So when you start this, what's that like? Uh, real, a real thrill. <laughs> and we haven't driven it much. Uh, in case you haven't looked at it yet, it's got six miles on it. Six miles on it, but you've driven it. My goodness. Carol Shelby's car with six, that's right, six miles on it. What a beast. And uh, just like kind of colors, right? I mean, it, 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 doesn't get, it doesn't get much better than that. Oh, the dual fans and the cooling system and uh, these, instead of having bumpers, they have these. This is to pick it up. You know, they have a rocker yeah. and they pick it up and change the tires quickly. Just gorgeous. Look at the the rivets in it. Just fantastic. Let's uh, this one's on a on a spindle, so let's spin this around. Can we, Rick? Yeah. Thanks. And we'll take a look at the back from up here where the lights at. Just spectacular. That's a piece of art. Isn't it, it really is. Yes. All right, I'll be I'll be good. Let's pause it for a second. There we go. Look at look at that. I get the feeling a few people might have seen this angle for all of six miles. Let's see the back there. <laughs> <laughs> just that little does this trunk actually yeah. open is there something yep. 
So it's got its cover uh -huh. and its gas tank. Oh wow, nothing but racing here, okay. A big, big fuel. Big fuel tank. Big fuel yeah. tank. And this. Goes right in, fantastic. Yeah. Let's take a look here. First of all, there you go. It just looks great. There's Carol Shelby signature. And there it is. Take a look at the miles. 6.1. Holy cow. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at that. The real deal. The beautiful wood steering wheel. The little mirror. The little visor. Let's pop the hood, shall we? Here we go. Take a look at the, the battery. Look at this. 427. Just. As you can tell, it's brand new. Wonderful. Your new Cobra. Yeah. <laughs> Let me take a look on this side. Oh my goodness. What a time capsule. Absolutely. Look at that right there. That's great. I'm just shaking my head, Mel. I'm just shaking my head. Just <laughs> unbelievable. Look at the inside too with the pop rivets and things. And they like, have quite a system the way they build them, I'm telling you. Yeah. All right, let's shut the hood and let's spin it around. Let's have you stand next to it. Okay. Rick, let's spin it around. Here we go. And here's the... Here's those back bumpers as well. You want me down by you? Yeah, come on down. You know, we're just gonna, all right. Is it moving or is it not moving? Right, there we go. Well, Mel, jump in front of your car there. You know what, let's pause that for one second. I just wanna show the underside. I was gonna have you stand in front of it, but then I, like a little kid, I got caught taking a look at all kinds of little toys. Let's get that there. Wonderful. Unbelievable. All right. Love the little vent there, too. The little shark gill vent. Mel, stand next to it. Okay. So you said you picked it up at an auction. When the bitter goes sold, what was your reaction? Well, I thought that uh, it'd be a great addition to the museum, and uh, I didn't think I'd ever own a real one, and I owned several uh, wannabes. But uh, what a what a thrill! Congratulations! And, uh, yeah, go ahead. Not everybody gets to buy one with that fuel mileage. Well, I don't think there are any others with that few miles. I, <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. So congratulations on Thank a great you. car. Thanks so much for letting us enjoy it on My Car Story. Oh, you're certainly welcome. I hope you come back. Thanks, Mel.